Joining us now as part of our second hour special, BYU Sports Nation Basketball Media Day, is the Ginger Mamba, TJ Haas. Has Eric, me- Has Eric just said right there, and a moment ago, ha! <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that nickname? We gave that to you a couple months ago, and I think other people have called you that, right? Yeah, I like it. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I think it goes back. I th- I, I want to give a shout out to your your uncle Pat, man. I think he's he's one of the originators of the Ginger Mamba, right? Pat is a talker. <laughs> Pat is a big talker. <laughs> yes, you said something funny offset that I want to bring back. You said Eric's my best friend until he gets in front of a camera in fr- or in front of a microphone. Seriously, people probably think he doesn't like me very much. <laughs> <laughs> when did you when did you fir- all three of you first meet? How old are you? Uh. Eric came in the picture in fifth grade for me, but I had known Nick since first grade. Mm. So all three of us was in my fifth grade year. Did you always play on the same teams? And you were a year younger, right? Mm-hmm. I played I played with Nick since first grade. Eric came on the team for a few years. Um, so all three of us played for probably two or three years together. Mm. Okay, before we get into the whole Lone Peak 3 dynamic, as we've done with Eric and Nick, um, we need to congratulate you, first of all, for recently getting married. Life is a newlywed and is a full-time student. Last week? Yes, last week. And now as a basketball player, what has the last week or so been like for you in in your life? It's been a little bit stressful um, coming up to the marriage, but after the marriage, I feel like everything has calmed down a lot and life is a lot better now. What's uh what's the preseason been like as you try and physically get back into shape? Uh, it's been it's been really fun. Uh, coming off a of mission, I was really excited to get back into basketball, um, being with my teammates again, my friends. Um, it's definitely been challenging, but it's been a blast getting back into shape and playing ball again. What's been the biggest challenge for you? Uh, probably running. Um, you get up and down the court a couple times right when you get back, and you can barely breathe. So that was probably the biggest challenge yeah we still have that problem so you're, you're good <laughs> we know here. all about that five plus years in the making so what's it like for you to be here now so close to starting this journey with your best friends and your former high school teammates and then the new dynamic of uh players that you haven't played with on this byu squad i'm i'm so excited to play with these guys uh I, I committed to play here when i was a sophomore so it's it's been five years and coming and so uh, I'm really excited to play with these guys. I feel like there's a lot of talent, and probably the thing I'm most excited for is is that we are all really close. Um, we had a, a good summer together, and I feel like we um, developed great relationships, and we're all we're all close friends, which I think will relate onto the basketball court as well. Off the court, um, you you are you you are I, I don't know that I'd say you're quiet, but you're very respectful and kind. And, <laughs> and then on the court, you are an assassin, man. Like, how, how do you turn it on on the court? Uh, I think once you step on the court, there's something that just changes, um, and I, I I love having that being on the court and and being you know a little bit more aggressive, and I, I think that's that's fun and it can balance out as well. So that's where you get that part out in your life mm-hmm. on the basketball court. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> the angry TJ. For me, it's in here at Spencer. <laughs> that's how I do it. Yeah. He's not. I lying. go home. My marriage is great. I come <laughs> in like. Ah! The aggression. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't know if you saw in the police blotter recently, TJ, but uh, there were two fans that were arguing over who should start at quarterback during the BYU UCLA game. It may or may not have been Jerem Jordan myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say. There's, there's still some court hearings uh, that need to play out. So. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you've got some good family experience uh, dealing with coming off of a mission because your brother Tyler did it not too long ago. And uh, we had you on, I mean, right when you got home but now you've had the full summer and i know you talked to him a lot about that process and spent time with your dad um what did you learn from uh from those two and how did he implement that in your off-season training i think the most important thing that they taught me was to take my time Um, because when i got back your mind tells you different things than your body's telling you and you get back and you want to do the exact same things you were doing before the mission um but some they just told me take your time um, don't rush into things and even when I started to feel better, I still took my time. I didn't, you know, go all out right then. So that has really helped me to to come to full speed. So you're full speed now, 100. percent You're mm-hmm. back. Do you, do you feel like okay, I'm I'm close to what I was before my mission, or will that take games? I think there are definitely different aspects that feel like they were before my mission, but a few things are still are still coming. Like what? Uh, I think my lateral movement is is still coming along a little bit. Sometimes I feel a little bit slow. 
TJ Haas with us on BYU Sports Nation. It's BYU Basketball Media Day. Now that you've seen the newly renovated Marriott Center and uh, the Marriott Center annex is good almost timing, man. completed. Yeah, good what, timing. What was what was your reaction to the first time you walked into the Marriott Center and saw the all blue and, and the new video board and, and this whole Marriott Center annex uh, construction? Well, I remember getting emails on my mission and getting pictures of the of the renovations, and I was I was really excited for it. And coming in, it it looks like a whole new arena, and uh, I'm I'm so excited to play in there. How about we we were calling it the YMCA, the Marriott Center annex at BYU YMCA. Mm -hmm. It's too it's too easy. Some people hate it. I love it, so whatever. Um, the YMCA, what, what kind of, as Eric Mika stands off set, still trying to weigh in here. What was that? It's your world, Jeremy. It's, it's your Jaren's world. It's world, and we're living in it. Welcome back to it, Eric. Uh, what, what kind of difference can that make for BYU basketball? Uh, I think it's going to be uh, a big deal for, for recruits coming in. It's an it's incredible faci facility, and I'm so excited to get in there and start working. Tyler was told on his recruiting visit that when he came back from his mission, it'd be up. <laughs> it's actually your mission so yeah he didn't know that would uh, he misheard oh, when oh, TJ TJ's. gets back from ah, his mission yes. he's miss let's come on now let's sense. get those details <laughs> right what do you expect uh, from yourself emotionally and both in, in terms of like output and production in your first division one game mm -hmm. I think I just want to help my team win uh, whatever whatever way I can do that I want us to win games and that's the most important part of basketball is winning and I feel like we have the team this year to do that. And so whatever I can do to help our team win, I, I want to do that. Are you a better dunker than Tyler? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> how, about then, hope how, about so. Then, how about then Nick? Are you a better dunker than Nick? Uh, yes. He does have more college dunks, but I have more high school dunks. <laughs> so. Okay, let's run through the gambit of uh, you know questions about different guys on the team. Okay, Who's the strongest guy on the team? Um... <laughs> I'd probably say Jamal. Jamal Eights. Okay. Jamal Eights is strong. Two votes for Jamal Eights and uh, one for Elijah, Elijah Bryant. The weekend. Okay. It has nothing to do with him running into Nick Emery. <laughs> <laughs> Best shooter on the team. Best shooter. Oh, boy. We we do have a lot of great shooters on the team this year, and I think it's good that it it's hard to answer that question. Um, but um, I don't know. Um I would say I would say Nick. Nick, he's a, he's a pretty dang good shooter. Okay. Nick is pumped. He's still in here. Yeah, he's hanging out. Neither of these guys have class this hour, apparently. Uh, also, uh, who has the best handle? Um, I'd probably say Elijah. Best dunker. That's a tough one. Uh, it's up there with Eric and Yoli. Um, mm. Eric probably dunks more than Yoli, but Yoli can do some crazy dunks. Hmm. I'm excited. I'm excited for those guys. Uh, who's most likely to get lost on a road trip? I'm with Eric. Zach Frampton. <laughs> <laughs> From experience. We've seen Zach, it. Zach's not going to be your friend Did after he? this. <laughs> 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 never was. <laughs> Eric says never was. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Great stuff. TJ, uh, it's, it's great to have you back. This is <laughs> The excitement is palpable for sure. I can't imagine how it feels for you and your teammates, but best of luck to you moving forward in official practices and games. Thank you. I appreciate it.